Nelson defend. Sam Hartman to Wake Forest quarterback, and he's going to be sacked back inside the 20. Slow mess the Wake Forest likes to run. Second and 16, Hartman with time across the middle, incomplete. Pressure, Hartman flings it. Midfield, incomplete, broken up contact. You know, we enjoy talking with him this week, Alyssa. Hartman pulls it out, pass is caught, and the first big gainer, A.T. Perry. In front of edge rushers, he's willing to do whatever it takes to give this team a chance. After a gain of 16, Turner gets a touch. He made great decisions as he's riding that slow mesh in the backfield. After a gain of four, Hartman, pressure, down he goes, sack number two. Clemson defensive line, supremely talented, starting to reach their potential the last few weeks. Here comes pressure, Hartman, sacked. Matt, thank you very much. Screen pass, Roberson, bottled up. But they've really been coming on for the last several weeks. Now confusion with that snap, Hartman. Try to buy a little time and sling it out of bounds. Play just a touch slower than what they're playing right now. On third down, more pressure. Hartman somehow escapes, nearly intercepted. Gerald, the offensive coordinator for Wake, to find an answer. Hartman again, pressure. Hartman again. Wake Forest with 10 yards in the first quarter. That'll change here. Christian Turner. And wide receiver at the bottom of your screen. Hartman. Perry, first down Wake Forest. Easy on Hartman who throws an accurate ball. Hartman now feeling it. And look at the pace. Breakneck off the screen. Keyshawn Williams close to first down yardage. They turn into another positive play. And Hartman on second and short. Needed just over a yard, he'll get there. A gap pressure, Hartman keeps it across the middle. A.T. Perry. Second, just the effect that this has on the second level defenders for Clemson. After a gain of 16, Hartman back to the air. Dangerous toss, pass is caught, Morin has it. If everyone does what they need to do, we can play well. And Alyssa Sean's had to play a little center so far this afternoon due to the injury to Michael Jerkins. That's a developing story. That's a big loss. Tenth play of the drive. Hartman pulls it out. Pass will be caught. Roberson has it. Turner, a gap, nothing there. And stacked up near the five. It'll be second and goal. If he likes it, because things get very difficult to run it between the tackles. There On cue, Hartman the pump fake, trying to make something happen. End zone and incomplete. 13th play of the drive. Hartman all afternoon to toss it. End zone, broken up and incomplete. That would be juicy. <laughs> Turner, right side for the touchdown. Hartman steps up. Hartman fires. Morin, first down. Normally, I'd say spike it, but you can run a play with their tempo. Off of play action, Hartman wants it all towards the end zone and broken up at the last minute. Ample leg strength. All-time leading scorer in Wake Forest history. Hartman. Down he goes and the ball pops out. Skowski has it. Back an out route to the top or something like that to the boundary. Hartman with time. Heaves it. Morin. And was it intercepted? Turner, the running back, he'll get the call on first down. Ball pops out. Tigers get it back. PC championship game. So there's about to be a lot of chaos in the next couple weeks of college football. That ball was tipped and still caught. The Big 12, I think, is in a difficult spot. A lot of those matchups are tricky. I think Oklahoma State's a good team for sure. Heavily favored against Georgia Tech and then Stanford next week. They're probably going to be 11-1 by Cincinnati and Notre Dame. How about that? Well, if Notre Dame makes it that far, that's certainly a check mark in favor of the Bearcats who won in South Bend. Everything there. If they can run the table somehow in the next couple weeks and finish at 12-1. And, and that Utah-Oregon matchup tonight on ABC. UVA, obviously not a great defense, so maybe a big opportunity for Kenny Pickett's Heisman potential. If, in fact, he can put together a big game. But the Heisman race, far from over. I think I heard Matt Barrett 1.17 for 18 was Stroud. How about the catch by Roberson of the one-handed variety? Tempo for the Deeks. 
Hartman keeps it, lasso from behind, and down he goes. Second and goal. Hartman nearly picked off. Hartman directing traffic, floats it, and it's caught. Whitehart. And the handoff straight ahead goes Turner, and he got there.